like to thank everyone for coming out to our event. And we just would like to tell everyone we hope that you have a great week and that you enjoy Fashion Week. And again, just thank you for coming out. All right, thank, thank you. you. Now I would like to introduce our designers. Our first designer, Michael Hill, under the collection of Classic. Yeah. Might got to tilt the camera down. I'm kind of short. <laughs> um, <laughs> hi, everybody. How are you doing? Uh, my name is Michael Hill, and uh, my company name is Ms. Inc. Um, Ms. Inc. is a premier men's image consulting corporation. Um, I've been formated since 2012. Um, on a regular basis, I help people with their dress, so wardrobe management, um, closet makeovers, and uh, you know, just helping people. Um, I have a way of saying, the way I say it is I use fashion as a tool to help people reach their goals. So to me, that's really important to use fashion at, you know, to help people reach their goals outside of just loving to, you know, to dress like I do. Hello everybody, I'm Shanae. Um, my, name, my business name is Shanae Altavis. Um, we are, well, I make handmade jewelry and accessories for the everyday fashion icon. So I've been designing jewelry since I was 10 years old, um, making, um, you know, handmade stuff for family and friends later on came to be a word of mouth business. Since 2008, I've been debuting my collections through um, Runway. So it's been a while now. Um, this is my first year in Delaware Fashion Week. The collection, um, ins well, the collection is called Wonderland. It's inspired by, of course, Alice in Wonderland, but it's more of a night out in Wonderland. Um, each collection, I try to introduce something a little bit more um, different in my skills, something challenging myself. Hello, everyone. I'm excited to be here. Uh, my company, which is Diva Couture, I found it back in 2008, and ultimately I was just on a mission to empower women, to unleash their inner diva, and to do that through fashion. So I started out with fashion retail and personal shopper service and styling, and just this past year, I kind of transitioned into design. It's always been a passion of mine. So this year is my first year, uh, my collection, which is the DS Collection, um, also my first year at Delaware Fashion Week, so I'm excited to be a part of it uh, alongside of my other fellow designers and ultimately the DS collection I consider to be femme fashion for the woman who knows the brilliance that she possesses. Now it's in second year Delaware Fashion Week is bringing back a week full of fashion and glamour and joining us right now is Laia Wash who's going to tell us all the details about this year's event. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Well before we get into the actual uh, week of fashion and glamour can you tell us a little bit about how the founder uh, Maria is doing and how this year's event is going to help benefit her and her health condition and others who are going through the same thing? Sure. Um, as we all know, Maria has lupus and dystonia. Um, lupus she's been dealing with for a few years now and dystonia she recently just um, has been diagnosed with it. Um, it is a bit difficult for her. She is in Puerto Rico and she's away from her family and of course the preparation of Fashion Week and with being a founder I know that could be hard right. um, but I'm grateful that she has entrusted me with some duties um, as well as our other team members. Um, Maria She's not at her best right now. I won't say that she's doing bad because she isn't. Um, every day she is fighting for her life and she's doing a great job at it. Mm -hmm. um, she should be back to see us, you know, to visit us and be here for Fashion Week, which I'm so excited about. Mm -hmm. um, with Fashion Week, what we're doing to help and to support her, we are actually doing a fundraiser for Lupus and we'll be running, um, raising funds for Maria mm -hmm. also. Yeah, Maria was just involved with so many different organizations. Mm -hmm. She was also involved with the Lupus chapter here in Philadelphia and the tri-state area, I should say. And uh, this is just incredible how Delaware Fashion Week, the organization she created, yes. is also going to help uh, proceeds towards that organization yes. as well. Here at Delaware Fashion Week, you're, bring, you're bringing local designers together. Yes. Can you talk a little bit about that? Yes, we have, um, right now we have over 10 designers. Over half of them are local designers. Um, even with our models, we have most of our models are definitely from our area, which I'm 
excited about and you're actually able to bring training to these mm -hmm. people opposed to them having to travel to go out of state which sometimes can be costly mm -hmm. um, you're able to help them bring training and also with um, fashion week is to bring awareness mm -hmm. not just to lupus or dystonia but to people with other you know disabilities are just to show people that they can do it and it can be done in Delaware. Why uh, should people get involved with Delaware Fashion Week? Uh, what are some of the benefits? I know I saw a woman on uh, America's Next Top Model yes. who had the same condition and yes. just really brought awareness to that. Yes. So can, can you speak a little bit about the benefits of having Delaware Fashion Week? To me, the benefits of having is definitely you're, it's, you're able to use it as a platform to be bring awareness to different things and people. Even with myself, even though I'm a very confident person and I do have vitiligo, I actually I have an organization for girls called Make Me Pretty. And you're just able to bring so much togetherness love mm -hmm. and understanding about each one's life. Yeah. And I'm a firm believer in each one teach one. Okay. So when you know better, you do better. So even with Fashion Week, there's awareness to different illnesses, diseases, um, cultural um, differences, nationalities, mm -hmm. all of these things it will bring awareness to. Not only that, a lot of people think that Delaware, would it be in the first state that we can have togetherness, which I know that you know, that is just not the truth, and I know it can happen. So what we're looking at Fashion Week to do is to bring a week of togetherness for Delaware, um, let it, with, with it being about art, fashion, fashion, um, diseases, and disabilities, but just bringing all of that together so everyone can just feel important. And it's really had a tremendous uh, kickoff last year. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the participants, uh, Michael Hill, I believe, has yes. the bow tie company. Mm -hmm. And he was actually one of the recipients of the Project Pop-Ups here okay. in Wilmington. Yes. And he has yes. his own storefront mm -hmm. now here in Wilmington. So this is a, a unique opportunity for those who are really trying to get their business out there yes. and shown. So lastly, before we leave, can you share with us uh, any contact information if someone wanted to get involved or in the future if they wanted to get involved with Delaware Fashion Week, what do they need to do? Right, well, so it's time for them to be involved for this year. They want to be involved in the Top Beauty Expert. Um, if someone's still looking to have their clothing seen or anything like that, what you can do, we can, we can be reached on Facebook at Delaware Fashion Week, on Instagram under Delaware Fashion Week as well. And you can go on our website at fashionweekdelaware.com or you can also email us at fashionweekdelaware at gmail.com. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Laia, for your time. All right, really you're welcome. It. You're thank welcome. You. Thank you for having me in Fashion Week. Oh, my pleasure. And I look forward to it as Aww, well. Oh, thank you. <laughs> you're welcome. And on behalf of all of us here at WITN 22, I'm Yusinia Tavares. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.